एवरीवन वेलकम टू द एथ वीडियो ऑफ द बायो फार्मास्यूटिक्स चैलेंज सो इन बाय फार इन दिस जर्नी वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड आर ड्रग डिसोल्यूशन प्रोसेस सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द थ्योरीज ऑफ द ड्रग डिसोल्यूशन इन अ शॉर्ट वीडियो सो स्टे ट्यून फॉर दैट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टार्टेड ऑलरेडी विद द ड्रग डिसोल्यूशन एपरेटसेस ओके सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अ ट्रिक अबाउट इट एंड देन वी विल मूव टू आर थ्योरीज ऑफ ड्रग डिसोल्यूशन for the usp only the process uh, of learning seven apparatus can be a quite tricky for uh, some of you so i have made a trick regarding that you can just remember as bp record in flow bp record in flow for paro holder okay so you can just remember bp record in flow for paro holder from b it will be the basket for p it will be paddle for record it will be reciprocating cylinder for flow it will be flow through cell for pa it will be paddle over disc for row it will be rotating cylinder for holder it will be reciprocating holder if you have any other trick that can be really catchy for us to remember you can mention in the comments below and i will make a separate video out of your trick only your suggestions are almost welcome right so next what we have as i have already told you that how the drug dissolution process is going to happen how the drug is going to release uh, to be released from the formulation and will form a layer around it and the layer that will be formed you can already see here whatever we have uh, discussed in the previous video that was actually your diffusion layer model or the film theory so based oh, sorry based on the film theory what it is suggest that you have a solid drug particle in which it is going to slowly release the drug so the drug concentration in this layer that is formed number 1 please consider this layer as a stagnant layer okay this layer as a stagnant layer now in this stagnant layer the drug concentration is going to be high as compared to the bulk phase this actually develops a concentration gradient across it due to which the drug will be actually moving towards more to the bulk phase now that moving towards the bulk phase will create another layer we call it as the diffuse layer we call it as diffuse layer so in this model that is why we call it as a diffusion layer model or the film theory basically with this stagnant layer is uh, only the same as of a diffuse layer because in this case the diffusion is actually going to happen from a region of this high concentration to a region of a more diffuse layer right so the stagnant layer mainly it is known as a diffuse layer only but as solely because of the concentration gradient this diffusion is happening so this diffusion is actually governed by an equation which i have previously told you that is the noise whitney equation now we actually use the modified version of the noise whitney whitney equation which is this one this we have already covered this is the diffusion layer model what points that you need to remember the formation of a stagnant layer development of a concentration gradient movement of drug from the uh, concentration gradient uh, from the uh, stagnant layer to the bulk phase these three points are to be uh, you need to remember from this theory second we have is the dankward model or a surface renewal theory or a penetration model very important please see sometimes questions are asked on the names of the theories as well so you have dankward model you have penetration or surface renewal model why we call it as a surface renewal model firstly please see in this case there is no such stagnant layer formation you have just a dissolving solid but you have freshly made pockets of solvent you can see here you have freshly made pockets of solvent which are going to carry these drugs from the solid drug particle which is going to take it back into the bulk of the solvent so every time there is a new pocket that is coming which is coming with a fresh batch of solvent right now that fresh batch of solvent is going to saturate the layer uh, saturate this portion so this saturation ultimately builds up due to the eddy currents also it again helps in renewing the surface more fresh pockets of solvents are coming up each time so that the saturation once the saturation is achieved okay next pocket next pocket next pocket of solvent so there is again and again surface renewal that takes place which comes here takes the drug with it comes here with the fresh pocket of solvent 
takes the drug with it. There is no such assumption of the stagnant layer just like in the previous that was happening. So that is why we call it as a surface renewal theory from your exam point of view. Uh, remembering the names, the other names that are mentioned as well as the basic of what this theory holds for us. Okay. So in this Dankford model, he did not actually approve any existence of the stagnant layer which I just mentioned. So he suggested that the turbulence in the dissolution media exists. Now that dissolution media turbulence definitely it is going to exist because of the solid liquid interface. Okay. Now that is going to generate the eddy currents which I just mentioned. That is going to help the diff uh, diffusion and carry the uh, bulk of the solvent from this portion to the pockets. These solvent pockets or solvent packets are going to expose to the uh, new solid surface each time. That is why we say the surface has been renewed. So this Dankford model is expressed by this equation. You can see here, right? Just remember the equation for once and then mainly the noise Whitney equation is important. But yes, you need to have a look at these as well. Okay. Now, based on film theory, Dankward theory, third we have is the interfacial barrier theory. We also call it as a solvation, limited solvation theory or double barrier theory, which is actually based on the solute solvent interaction because here also we are talking about the interface only. So, the solid and the, solu uh, solid and the solution equilibrium is going to be achieved at a condition whereby we just say it is a solid liquid interface. So there are certain assumptions of this interfacial barrier theory. Number one is going to be the rate determining step that controls the drug dissolution is going to be the mass transport. No involvement of pockets, no involvement of solvent uh, renewal, no involvement of the stagnant layer formation. Next the solid solution equilibrium is achieved at the solid liquid interface which is governed by this equation G is equals to K Cs which is uh, the concentration in the uh, first layer versus the bulk layer and this G is going to be the dissolution rate per unit area. So we have three theories for the drug dissolution. All the names of the theories and all the basic processes are important. Just have a glance at it. Just try to uh, memorize the noise with the equation and on what basis these actually hold. For example, in the uh, film theory, we have a formation of stagnant layer diffuse layer. Second, in the case of the uh, surface renewal theory, we have a formation of packets in which the solvent is coming at from the bulk media. There is no concentration gradient. We do not say that it is the driving force. In this third, we have the interfacial uh, solid uh, solution interaction here at the interface. Okay. So thank you so much. We will meet in the next video.